Swelling and lymphedema are commonly spoken about in the legs and in the arm, but it can also occur in other areas like the breast and chest, the pelvic and genital area, as well as the head and neck area. These areas tend to be more difficult to manage and finding tools to reduce and manage the swelling in these areas can be a challenge. My name is Kelly. I am a physical therapist that specializes in lymphedema and oncology. Today in this video, I'm going to share some of the extra tools and products that I often use to help reduce swelling and fibrosis or thickening of tissue in the more stubborn regions. Before we begin, make sure that you subscribe down below for weekly new videos. You can also follow along with us on Instagram or check out my website for more resources. So we're going to talk about three areas today, the breast and the chest, the head, neck, and the pelvic and genital areas. I will place links about all of these products that I speak about in this video down in the description box below, and you can check out those further if you'd like. So first, let's talk about the breast and the chest products. We have different what we call swell spots for the breast and the chest. In the arms and the legs, we use a compression sleeve or a compression um, garment or stocking. In the breast, we can use the swell spots as well as a compression bra. And so first off with the bra, a compression bra is just like wearing a compression stocking that it has a similar fabric that's going to help give a gentle compression to the area to help reduce swelling. And what this bra specifically is, so this bra is from Prairie Wear. Prairie Wear makes bras specifically for lymphedema of the area or swelling in the area. And they are a very full coverage bra because we want to make sure that we don't wear a, just a general sports bra because that's A, not going to be full coverage for a lot of them, but B, they're also going to have really thick seams. The bottom tend to be thicker and they're not going to give the right amount of compression. So they're more likely to cause a tourniquet, which can make compression worse. But these bras, they're full coverage. This is one kind. Uh, they zip in the front so they're easy to get on and off. They have removable cup so if someone had a mastectomy these will lay flat against the body or you can leave the cup in and again they come up really high on the sides where a lot of people have that stubborn swelling and they're going to be more full coverage with adjustable straps on the top and so these are a great option that someone can do standalone for breast and chest swelling or if they have you know more stubborn swelling or that thickening that fibrosis tissue already forming we can take a what we call swell spot like this and put it inside a bra like that or another snug tank top or compression tank and that will also help reduce swelling and fibrosis. So the swell spots have these small chipped foams inside that will help soften any hardened tissue, but it'll also give even more gentle compression. So this is a breast one. It will go in the front and it will wrap around to the side. They have different sizes. So this is a small, they have medium and large, whatever someone may need, but they can actually go inside the bra these bras also have pockets that you can actually slide some of these inside. If someone doesn't need a full breast, but maybe just has that swelling on the side, they also have lateral bra swell spots. That's what this one is called. It's meant to just fit on the side of the chest. That can also actually tuck into the bra, not only just underneath where the skin is, but again, there's a pocket in there that you can slide this in and it will stay in the bra so it doesn't move around. So those are popular options. They also just have basic round ones that someone could use too, but those two are meant for the breast and chest. So those are some of the best products along with the lymphatic drainage to help reduce and manage breast and chest lymphedema and swelling. So next we're going to talk about head and neck swelling or lymphedema. And so a similar thing, this is an area that you can't just always wear compression on. It's really challenging. Head and neck lymphedema tends to be worse in the morning or at night because when someone's laying around at night or you know their body is straight, gravity is gonna move fluid upwards versus during the day when they're up and about, the gravity can help actually drain the fluid out. And so some people wear something at night only or just for a few hours during the day or maybe in the evenings or in the morning just to help manage the swelling. So we have a couple different varieties. 
The first we can do are their our basic chin straps. This is just a thin cotton padding chin strap. And really, most people don't have mild enough swelling just to have this alone. We'll use a small spot and put it in the inside, but it's just like the concept of the bra. It's gonna hold everything in place. And so this can go under the chin and the head neck area and strap over the head to help with that stubborn area that tends to be under the jaw or the lower face. So that will tuck underneath there. And then there are different swell spots. I don't have all of them with me, but I'll put links below that will fit right in this region to get to those stubborn areas. There are also head and neck swell spots that cover the entire face, even the eyes like goggles. If someone has lymphedema around the eyes or around the nose area as well. There also are basic ones. This is a swell spot attached to the strap by itself just to have a simple compression right around that chin area. So not wearing the full face, but just those little areas versus one that fills in most of the face. And then the last thing that is out there for someone who needs a bit more support the same brand that makes the swell spot, which is l &R, they have a full night garment that you can wear or put on that's gonna give a lot of full coverage really just throughout that region. So it's not gonna cover the, the eyes, although there are some for that, but there are some like this that are a little bit more heavy duty that are also out there for really severe lymphedema. So those are a lot of the main ones for the head and neck area. Again, it's not something that people wear during the day when they're out and about. It tends to be something that people wear in the evenings, but that's also usually when head and neck lymphedema is the worst. So the last area we're gonna talk about is the pelvic and genital area. So a similar concept, instead of a compression bra or the head and neck, we look at compression shorts for this area. So they're like biker shorts. There are a couple different variations or just spandex shorts. Um, you can go to a basic place like Target or Macy's or something and find more Spanx style shorts. But what you wanna look for is you wanna make sure you don't have a lot of extra seaming and you don't want to have the Spanx style shapewear that has some areas with compression and some areas that don't. Because we wanna make sure it's uniform throughout. So you're really looking for something that is just the simple and the same throughout. They have shorter shorts, they have longer shorts, they also have briefs um, and some that come up really high or some say low. It just depends on what someone needs that will look for them. Sometimes that compression short is just not enough though, especially when you get to the lower pelvis or even the genital area. So we will add swell spots into compression shorts the same way we do for the others. And so I don't have all of them with me, but I will put links again down below for in pictures so you can see what they look like. But a lot of them will have, you know, there's male and female, different kinds that have um, pelvis support. So it's just the front of the lower abdomen and they'll also tuck underneath to get that genital area. They also have ones, and this isn't the exact one, but small ones, one that's actually longer, you know, twice the length of this, that will also can be just a simple genital support that goes in a short, or you can use different sizes, um, the kidney one, just a different shape for the pelvis. And then same thing, you can just get round ones as well. But there are specific swell spots for the genital area. Again, I will link those below. I don't have samples in front of me. But that's the similar concept. So it's a really challenging area, a stubborn area, um, difficult. A lot of people will wear those in the evening or when they're at home. Doesn't They don't always wear them out and about, although the shorts are sometimes easy to wear. Um, the swell spots add a lot of bulk to it. So it just varies on when someone can wear them. But they do help a lot with avoiding any um, wound areas or weeping areas or anything like that. If you let fluids sit there for a long time, there can be a lot of issues like that, as well as that thickening and fibrosis and hardening. But those are the go-to products that I tend to use a lot for those areas. The other things we do are lymphatic drainage, exercises, deep breathing, all of that. But for the products, again, there will be linked down below that you can check out area to help manage areas with lymphedema and swelling. If there is another area that you'd like to hear more about in a future video, feel free to comment that down below. Otherwise, you can search my channel for other resources, and I hope you all found this video helpful, and we'll see you all in the next one. Thanks, everyone.